What's good traders? Welcome back to our channel Trendline Forex here. Um, it's Wednesday today and we've got very important news coming out for the US dollar, all right? And these are news that we talked about in the beginning of this week as well when we looked at Euro dollar. That was on Monday. If you haven't seen the video, make sure to check it out, but we do expect to see a big move here um tonight as well. Okay? So today we're going to focus on gold. Um that's basically what we do every Wednesday and we also put our analysis on Friday um, as well. So pretty much every other day. If you haven't seen our channel before, if that's your first time watching one of our videos, make sure to subscribe to this channel right now. There's a lot of free educational content um, about Forex trading here. So it is basically um, totally risk free for you. The only thing that could happen if you uh, subscribe is to gain some extra knowledge in trading the Forex market. Anyways, so like I said, we've got pretty big news coming out. We've got Fed into the trade decisions. So any instrument traded against the US dollar, uh, we will see quite a lot of volatility later on today. Um, and we are expecting to see some big moves. So what's the situation on gold? Now, the outcome of the news um, should be a strong US dollar. And that's basically what we've seen recently. And that's why we've got a downtrend on euro dollar on pound dollar on gold as well, right? Like I said, everything traded against the US dollar should be affected by the news today right so we are expecting a continuation of this downtrend um, but before that there are some spikes that we're probably going to see um, in the opposite direction to the upside and that would possibly give us a confirmation to enter a trade now entering right now before the news or at current price levels doesn't make any sense at all even if you consider yourself um, you know an aggressive trader Again, it wouldn't make any sense to enter a trade now before such high impact news because we don't know in which direction price will go. Are we going to have bearish or bullish momentum? And that's why it's pretty much gambling to enter right now. You've got to wait for the news and... I would say the most aggressive way to trade, um, you know, today's case would be to wait for price, let's say... In the first 5 or the first 15 minutes, you see that price is pushing up and then at some point you want to see that this momentum is losing power and price is about to reverse, right? If that happens in the first 5 or 15 minutes, then you can look to take a sell trade, place your stop loss just above the wick that you would have at that time and then you can look for a potential continuation to the downside, okay? And that's if you are an aggressive trader. If you, if you are more conservative, then you can do pretty much the same thing, but you've got to wait for the one hour candle to close, right? And that's the news candle. Though, okay, so make sure to check your economic calendar to see um, at what time the news are coming out um, later on today in your time zone and then get ready to potentially find entries if you're going to be looking to trade that. If you are a very conservative trader, then the best thing you can do is to skip trading today and then come back to the charts tomorrow once everything is calmed down and you can see what was the result from the news today right because depending on you know what numbers we're gonna get if fed will raise uh, the interest rate by 0.75 or by one percent um you know like i said we're gonna see pretty big moves on the chart now let's go back to the more conservative case scenario that would be if let's say we see price pushing up we want to see price coming above those highs right here because there are a lot of stop or uh, loss orders we want to see that the market clears all those stop loss orders but by the time the hourly can Candle close comes to an end and we see that the candle is closing below those highs right here and at the same time we've got this rejection wick to the upside well that's going to be the perfect entry we're going to take a sell trade we're going to place our stop loss just above you know the rejection wick and then we're going to be looking for targets okay so where are the targets well the next levels that we're looking at are uh, in between 1600 and 1615 okay that's where i think we're going to see price next if that happens today after the news then i I'm pretty sure we're going to see lower values as well, which we're going to comment on in the next videos, right? If not, then it's very likely that we could get down here in the next couple of days and then we can see some type of a retracement, right? But like I said, we're going to talk about that in the next videos Um, and we also look at gold and pretty much any every other instrument that you see right here um, on a daily basis in our premium channel. If you want to join, make sure to send us a message or just leave a comment below this video and we're going to get in touch with you okay so that would be the best case scenario but that doesn't happen very often because that would be very obvious what's going to happen next 
Every market participant will know that if price pushes higher, it leaves a rejection wick, a massive wick to the upside. And then we see, you know, a bearish candle close or we see that the candle is closing below those highs. So basically price wasn't able to break above that and continue any higher. Then everyone will know that this was just a fake out and everybody's going to be looking to take a sell trade, right? So if that happens, then great. We will know what entry to take. However, what could happen as well is we can easily see you know market pushing down immediately so let's say if we are trading um, at current price levels or even if we go a little bit above and then the news come out and we see a massive momentum to the downside right you've got to understand that you may not have a decent risk to reward ratio okay if that momentum comes all the way down here and you see an hourly candle close down here well then it wouldn't make much sense to enter a trade with stop loss just above the momentum and targets around 1600 right that's not going to give you a positive risk to reward ratio so that means you should stay away from the charts in such case okay so that's why i'm giving you those uh target levels um once you know where you're going to be looking to exit your trade then you will be able to decide if you have a positive risk to reward ratio and if you are allowed to enter this trade okay so let's see what's going to happen um you know later on today i think we're going to see a pullback then we're going to see a rejection to the upside we're going to see price closing with a long wick to the upside and like i said that will be the best case to enter this trade all right now i'm also focusing on euro dollar on pound dollar and on usd jpy as well as gold all right so those four instruments i think they're going to give us the best moves uh, later on today during the news but something that you need to pay attention to is that for example we've got um, interest rates coming out from bank of japan tomorrow as well all right before the london market opens so if you decide to enter a trade on usd jpy you've got to be aware of that also all right because we could see a certain move today and that move can easily reverse um, during the bank of japan's interest rates tomorrow right so these are very very high impact news and they you know affect price action pretty much every time um in a big way as well right so that's pretty much what we're going to be looking for um and in case we see completely the opposite so let's say in the first few minutes of the news we see a big momentum to the downside but by the time the hourly candle close right the candle that's forming during the news closes up here with a long wick to the downside me personally i'm definitely not going to be trading that what we're going to do in this case is we're going to wait for tomorrow for the next couple of days to see what's going to happen are we going to have a pullback here are we going to come and trade inside of this range and then break below that range and continue lower we'll see how that's going to go but we're definitely not going to be looking to trade that to the upside okay whatever type of buy signals you get later on today during the news i would suggest do not enter a buy trade we are in a massive downtrend and we should see a continuation of the dollar strengthness which means a continuation to the downside here on gold all right so hopefully that helps uh, make sure to leave a comment below this video subscribe to our channel i'm answering every single one of your comments guys so any questions that you have about this setup put a comment down below and don't forget to check out all the links below this video and follow us on social media join our free telegram channel to stay up to date with more of our setups and visit our website trendlineforex.com to find out more about us and what we offer when it comes to forex trading i'll see you guys in the next video wish you all the best of luck thanks for watching Please don't forget to watch our last two videos where you can find more valuable information. Check out our channel for more trading related videos. I wish you all a successful trading and I'll see you next time.